morning folks we're up it's Tuesday Picks us up say hi pig morning boards <laughs> on the ready for the ready. next for the next day of adventures Tuesday morning off to the Honda dealer to see if Albie's bugs arrived and what can be done You never know, we might say. Are you Elby from the USA tour? <laughs> yeah. So here we are at Honda Bike Park in Chartres. We're just waiting for Elby's bike to turn up. And there is a Honda Goldwing in there, the same model and same year as Elby's. So if there was a possibility, I could swap that wheel and then, you know, do warranty ordering a wheel for these. That would be amazing because it would get Albi on the road. Honda Bike Park, Chartres. Please bring us some good news. Please don't let this be the end for Albi on this tour. We need him on the road. We do. We need him on the road. He was a bit broken yesterday. He was um, he was a destroyed man. So we need him on the road. Look at that beaut. I do like them. I think I might have to get one of them for Vermeer. So, how are we getting on with the NT 1100? So far, it's been absolutely brilliant. It's an absolutely beautiful bike to ride. So comfortable. That seat, that has got to be the best seat I've ever sat on. I mean, we did on Sunday, I think we did about nine hours in the saddle. Not a problem at all with that seat. I had no lower back pain no sore bum nothing it was absolutely brilliant and I've got to say the only discomfort I've had is just the outside of my hand there and I think I'm resting like that when I've got the cruise control on I think I'm resting my hand like that so it was just aching a bit and plus it's a different position to my VFR so doing long miles on it, I think it's just my body getting used to the different position, but it's it's beautiful. Power. It's got enough power on it. Which you could do with a wash actually. Might try and get a wash today or tomorrow. That screen is brilliant for me. I'm getting no wind. I mean normally I can't wear my helmet without my earplugs in I normally have the earphone earplugs but that I haven't needed them and I haven't even put earplugs in inside my helmet I'm getting no no wind noise off this inside the helmet even on the motorway it was brilliant well impressed with that I think that in that Africa twin colours would look amazing I think those colours on this bike would look superb right bike park please sort it out please 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 come on where's Albie's bike we're just waiting for the recovery truck to bring it here right catch us in a bit you okay Roy? I am how lovely are you, how are you finding everything? I'm, you, right. I'm hungry. You're, you're yeah. I'm hungry. 
We'll get you some brekkie. Somewhere around here for well, brekkie. Well, I've, so, I've had five things eat this morning. <laughs> it's our first. Yeah. <laughs> right then. So, the news is the gold ring in there, they are prepared to stop the wheel for Albie. We just got to wait for Albie's boat to get here, then I can swap it over. So, we're now just going to go and get some brunch, some baguettes. So, hopefully, we might get Albie on the road and we might get to Limoges today. Let's get some brunch. Here's Albie's bike. So hopefully, the plan is, they're gonna take the wheel off the Honda Goldwing in there. We're gonna fit it onto Albie's bike, have a new tire fitted, and then we should be able to get on our road and get to Limoges. What an eventful 24 hours this has been. Poor, poor Albie's bike. Right, let's get this bike fixed. So the update is we're taking Albin here to an hotel. They are sorting a new wheel, which will be arriving tomorrow. We've got to have a little bit of work checked and tightened on the steering, and hopefully, if all is good, Albin can carry on tomorrow to us. If all is not good, it's the dreaded option of the repatriation. But we're not even thinking that negative. All we're thinking is, Albie, we are seeing you tomorrow, sunshine. You big sex kitten. Yeah, we might as well park up and I'll park up while Albie checks in to make sure everything's okay. About to leave Albie at this hotel for him, hopefully, to join us tomorrow. Um, I'll speak. I'll speak to somebody tomorrow. Somebody's going to call me tomorrow in the afternoon to make sure everything's okay. Is that still all right? Yes, that's wonderful. I'll look forward to the call tomorrow. Thanks again so much for your help. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, bye bye guys. Get out boys! Enjoy! Right side. All the boys are off. <laughs> I will stay here. Right bear. Hiya. There they go. I've held them up long enough. I don't hold them up anymore. Bless them, each and every one of them. They're so good. None of them has moaned. Everyone's so supportive. They've just stayed with me, never left my side. Done everything they can to help me. Pulled out all the stops. I've got, I'll tell you what, guys. See, it's way above and beyond, honestly. That's what true friends are for, eh? Love you guys to bits. Thank you so much for what you've done. 
man. It's a horrible situation to be in from where I'm standing right now. But I mean, it's I'm okay, there's nothing wrong. I'm a bit lonely, but hey, I'm a big boy, I can deal with that. But uh, I don't. I, just, I know you're all okay with it, but I'm not. I've held you up all day yesterday. You waited for me. You cancelled your plans. So I said, never night in the hotel. And I've wasted half a day today. Now you've all got to slog 180 miles down to your next stop. <sighs> Makes me quite emotional, and I'm quite, quite sad that I'm about to do it. Uh, it's happened to me, but hey, I'd rather be doing it with you guys because I've had the company, you haven't left my side, and you, you're still with me. Right, so I'm at the hotel now. AA kindly booked me into another night. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and check in, regroup, get my thoughts together, sort my head out, and then uh, I'll catch up again on this later on. I'll have a little vlog again later on. All right, guys, and I'm going to go out and get my bearings and stuff. Till then, I'll speak to you soon. Love you, I'll be out. So I've just got finished on the phone with a wonderful guy called Danny from Honda UK Custom Services. Marvellous guy, really helpful. Um, I've given him the update of what's gone on so far. Um, that the AA have been great, they've sorted me out another room for today, so I'm here now. I've actually checked in the room. If you have a budget room, it's okay, it's somewhere to sling my head for the night. Got a nice bathroom, nice shower, and unfortunate enough that it's in like a little industrialised area where there's um, some stuff. See, on the way in, there's like a I think it's a, a steakhouse, or somewhere to eat. So at least I can get some dinner tonight. The room doesn't come with breakfast, so I can sort myself out some breakfast tomorrow, hopefully. I've got the room till 12 tomorrow, uh, midday, so I'm no rush to check out. Uh, all the boys have gone off now. Uh, a little bit emotional, being stuck in a foreign place. Albeit it's only France over the water, but still miles from home, stranded. But between the AA, um, they're, they're doing really well to try and help me. And Honda UK, or Honda Europe, whatever it is, the one I'm talking to, I don't know half the time. I've run that many numbers, um, and I spoke to that many people, that it's difficult to keep up. You write a number down, they give you a number, you write it down, you ring it, and they either speak in French or it's uh, an unavailable number which is kind of strange and odd, really. You think it would be a lot better organized, but hey, it, 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 it is what it is, it's getting there. Um, so yeah, I've told the guys to all bugger off. I said, go and enjoy yourself. You spent enough time with me. They've hung around me all day yesterday. You guys are just unbelievable. And honestly, it makes me well up thinking about it, but honestly, not one of you has moaned, not one of you has left my side. Every one of you has reassured me. Every one of you said it's not a problem. You do the same for us. Goose letting me ride his bike and going, going two up, going pillion with piggy, so that I can ride his bike. So I've got something to ride to get about, to go out to dinner last night, to get to hotel, to get to the bike shop. You know what I mean? To get back to hotel. It was not even a thought. There you go, Steve. There's the keys. Get on it. Ride it. I'll go with piggy. Piggy's like, yeah, I'll have on the back. It's not a problem. Everybody, each and every one of you, he and Dave. Dave's saying, if the money's a problem, not a problem, stick it on, stick it on my credit card and sort me out when I get home. It was an unexpected expense, so, yeah. I, uh, a bear sorting everything out, even yesterday, just calling, calling, making sure he called the uh, Honda UK. Because um, I bought the bike, and obviously they didn't give me any details about the warranty, because I got it second hand. Um, so I didn't, my dealership didn't say, well, there you go, there's a card for your warranty because anything happens or anything. So it's kind of suck it and say it. it's all, you know, but bear had the idea to ring them. And yeah, of course, the warranty stays with the bike, not the person. So if it's warranted for three years and it's got the cover for three years and it stays with the bike, no matter who owns the bike. So I'll, I think I'm going to be looking at possibly an insurance claim when I get home there. Uh, I might have to claim on my insurance because it's working out about 1,800 euros. So, so that one and a half grand to get it fixed. Expensive, very expensive. It was a grand just for the wheel. Then I've got to pay for a tire. Now I've got to pay another 240 euros for labor costs, on top of the labor costs they're charging me to do the wheel. Uh, because the steering's a bit wobbly, they need to tighten all that up. 
So I've got to strip half the bike away to get to it. So yeah, it's a needless expense, but that's what happens when you've got an expensive toy. Everything that belongs to it is going to be expensive. A bit like owning a BMW, isn't it? So you pay through the nose for the services and the parts. Flagship gold wings, no different. So that may be a lesson to your people out there that want these lovely bikes. You've got to think if anything goes wrong, how much is that going to cost as well, to put it right? Uh, unfortunately, because it was an accident. One of those things that happened, it was unforeseen. It was nobody's fault, but it was, well, I say it's no one's fault, but it's one of the things that happens and you just got to deal with it and get on with it. But, but again, fortunate enough, and I'm all right, nothing's happened to me. It's only a wheel, so it could have been a lot worse, couldn't it? It could always be a lot worse. And um, things happen for a reason, as they say. So maybe it prevented something happening further down the line, or I don't know, who knows? Uh, I don't know, particularly care to think about that, but yeah, it's only money at the end of the day, isn't it? You either got it or you haven't. And I haven't right now, but it's one of them things. Um, yeah, it'll get sorted. Fingers crossed. So the state of play is now tired, worn out, emotionally drained. These things are sent to test us, if it's one thing is another. But what can you do? You've got to roll with the punches, haven't you? You've got two choices. If you get on with it, we give up. I'm not here to quit. Okay, I've been through a lot worse than this, so this ain't going to be the end of me, that's for sure. I don't know, I've got Rick. He's, he's with me. <laughs> I'll check into a room. First floor, room 109. <laughs> Number nine. There's Rick again. Always there. Always a little bit of reassurance. For those of you that know, Rick used to wear number nine on his football shirt. He's there, he's watching over me. He's looking after me. Oh, excuse me, sorry guys. Oh, it's been a long day, I'm tired. It's been a long couple of days. A bit tired. I feel a bit lonely right now, but I'll get through it. So, I'm gonna have a nice shower. Freshen up a little bit. I'm trying to have a nap because I didn't sleep much last night worrying about everything. And then, uh, yeah, so the state of play is now. I'm here, I'm okay. Um, boys are going off to do their thing, have a good time. Stay safe out there, guys. Hope you have a good time. Really enjoy it. And I'm so sorry for taking up almost two days and making you have to slog this time now. So it's two o'clock French time, and they've got 100, 180 miles to do. So. I ain't got nothing to stop for on the meanwhile, they're just going literally straight to the hotel. But it's still a four hour ride. And it had stops in, you're looking at five, six hours, so they're still not going to be there till. So if it's two o'clock now, two, six, maybe eight o'clock tonight, depending on traffic. Um, so I've made their day hard again. But at least they get a ride out today rather than yesterday. They just went back to the hotel and then. You all waited for me, didn't you? You were just not saying none of you mind. No, you said a word. You just, honestly, you're awesome, guys, honestly. I can't thank you enough. To have friends like you is just incredible. I feel blessed. I'm a lucky man. Very lucky man. I hold you all in my heart, and, I, and I'm loyal to you, and I always will be. And uh, you guys know me. What you see is what you get. I wear my heart on my sleeve. If I'm happy, I'll laugh. If I'm sad, I'll cry. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not embarrassed by it. It's just who I am. You know, you either take it or leave it. Albie's Albie, you know. AA are going to call the, it's not anywhere now, AA are going to call the, the Honda dealership tomorrow just to check everything's okay with the bike. They're hoping to have it ready for around about between two and four tomorrow, if the wheel gets delivered and everything gets delivered on time. And then, uh, they're gonna text me, let me know it's okay. I'll get a cab from here over to the bike shop, pick the bike up. I'll give it a good a good uh, test ride, make sure I'm happy with it, that it's safe and everything else. 
if I'm happy with it, uh, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and away we go. I'll meet up with the boys again either tomorrow at the next hotel or when they come back up again on Thursday morning. Because at the minute they're going down to, um, La, I can't remember the name of the place outside of La Rue's or something like that. La Mange, La Mange. And they're coming back up to Le Mans tomorrow. So, because tomorrow they're going to get to hotel tonight. Tomorrow they're going to do the uh, or Orador Seglan, the village that the Germans destroyed. Have a couple of hours around there, and all we've got to do then is ride back up to ride to Le Mans. So, and then so I'll even meet them at Le Mans tomorrow evening if my bike's okay, or if not, I'll get another hotel tomorrow night in this area, or try and make my way to Cannes because I'm going to meet them at Cannes. I'm going to be spending Thursday in Cannes. And then Friday morning we get the boat home. So I'll leave them in tomorrow or Friday, so that'd be good, providing the bike's okay, fingers crossed, stay positive. If it's not, the other option's gonna be um, get me home and get the bike home as well, recovery. So, and get it sorted or whatever I need to do when I get back home. But it's, uh, I'm not even gonna think about that prospect at the minute, because they even turned around and said to me, this time of year we try not to get do it, that's a last resort, because the bike could take six to eight weeks to get home. They can get me home next day or whatever, give me a flight, hire a car, whatever, I can just get myself and they'll pay for my ferry ticket or whatever. On there, or they'll even pay for me to come back and pick my bike up and ride home another time, if, if, if I've got the time to do that. A bit like when Richie did with his bike, when the RSA looks after him. So, uh, yeah, it'd either be that option or just, uh, or just me get home with the bike. I don't know how it works anyway. But anyway, we'll discuss them options tomorrow if it happens. But fingers crossed, touch wood, it ain't gonna happen. The bike's gonna be ready tomorrow, everything's gonna be tickety boo, and out we go again, finish the trip. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of these things to think about. Now, Escobar didn't come because he had a problem with his bike. And I even said to him, it doesn't matter. It could be any one of us could have an accident or breakdown or a mishap that's going to cause us to, to have to claim on our insurance or, or get the breakdown recovery, get recovered, get taken home, get taken to be fixed, whatever. And this is it. This is life. It's all part of touring. So, yeah, you roll with the punches. It's all part of the adventure, as they say. So on that note, I'll uh, raise my glass to you all for everything you've done for me. Especially for you boys sticking with me and not leaving my side and making sure I'm okay. Alright, thanks for being there, thanks for listening, thanks for caring and sharing, and uh, I love you all. So, till then, I'll have another update later on, let you know I'm getting on how I'm feeling. Alright, that's it for now, I'll be out. Quarter past five in the afternoon here on planet France. While the Starship Goldwing's in for repairs, thought I'd just come out and have a walk around. Getting a bit stir crazy in the hotel. Oh my God, it's so boring. I'm so bored here on my own. Oh, we'll get all through tonight and tomorrow, yeah. So I often wonder when I see people go on holiday on their own. I have a lot of people. Don't get me wrong, I'm comfortable with my own company. But I'm more of a people person. I like, I like to be with people, you know, bouncing off of people, having a bit of banter, having a bit of fun. <sighs> Enjoying things with other people. Anybody around think I'm nuts talking to myself? But I ain't nobody around, just me. Little old me. Me, myself, and I. <sighs> I'm waffling again, aren't I? Oh, I'm really missing the boys, man. Really missing, missing home as well at the minute. Because at times like this you think, oh, you want your red slippers, don't you? Tap your heels three times, no place like home. Just to get you back. Love from Albie. My little YouTubers. Speak to you later. Love you all. Bye. Uh, I'm not in the mood to drink. I've come, I had a lovely chat with Ellie. Um, really nice, over half an hour. If you, when you watch this back, darling, please forgive me. I hope you've forgiven me by now. But I haven't told you that I've kept it from you. I'm not lying. Well, it was that difficult because she said to me, Oh, where are all the others then? I said, They're at the, um, they're at the hotel, the other hotel, because it's in the other hotel around the corner. So, oh, they're in the other hotel. 
Oh, where's the bikes then? Oh, in the other car park. Uh, what are you doing on your own? Oh, they're over there, I just want to nip out and have a chat with you. And, and I also feel bad now because I'm just looking at my app, my 360 live app. And can you believe the boys aren't even there yet? They're still traveling. Uh, oh, almost there. Limoges. Limoges. Oh, they've stopped again at the minute. Um, must have stopped for another break. I oh, know it says it's driving still. No, they are driving. Let's have a look. Uh, I don't think they're too far out now. Uh, let's have a look. Limoges. If you actually look. Um, you can see them, you can see the boys are here, and they're travelling down to La Mange. Um, I think it's going to be, well it's half eight now, so it's going to be nine o'clock at least by the time they get there. They must have stopped, they might have stopped for something to eat actually. Let me have a look. Uh, what's there? Yeah, they've stopped at the moment. Trying to see if it is. Oh, it looks like it might be a McDonald's or something. Yeah, they probably stopped for a Mackey D's or something. I can't zoom in any closer. Boys, I'm so sorry. They're not going to get it to me. You're not going to get it to nine o'clock because of me today. Again. I don't. I know you're all. Ah, I just waffle on about the same crap all the time. I know we all do it and we all look out for each other and we all don't mind and we're all there and support each other because we're all biker brothers and family and blah, 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 blah. But it still don't stop you feeling bad if you're the one that's caused them to have to go through all heartache and pain and longer rides, later time arrivals, missing this and missing that. And, uh, just feel really bad. Right, let me give Craig a call. Hey Siri, call Craig Low. listen to this. Calling Chrissy Glow. Mobile. Chrissy Glow? Chrissy Glow? Who's that? <laughs> I'll record it. Hello? Bonjour. Bonjour, monsieur. <laughs> <Lovely. laughs> we've, just got to we've just got to Limoges. We're just having some dinner. Yeah, well, you pulled up at McDonald's or something, or? A Burger King for a change. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tracking you to see how you've been getting on. Bless you. And I noticed that you stopped, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to, to give you a quick call to see how you all are. How are you bearing up? Can you hear me? I'll protect it to Ricardo. Oh, okay, mate. Um, I'll protect Ricardo. Okay, mate. Okay, buddy, we can hear you. Okay, I said I've been tracking you on your way down. Make sure you see how, what time you got there. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you now. Oh, mate, I said I've been tracking you on your way down to see how you've been getting on. And you're still not even there yet, are you? No, 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 no. Yeah, we've had a couple of stops. So it's a beautiful boy down here. Was it? Yeah, it was really nice. Really enjoyed it. What, all through the countryside? So, uh, so you got any more updates? No, no, nothing yet. No, I've been doing a few updates on the on the vlog. Uh, oh, I've been pulling my hair out. It's so bloody boring. I'll wait until I know 100 percent tomorrow before um, before I uh, before I tell her. Well, the thing is, Eddie, which I'm pretty confident. If your bike's sorted, you're on the road tomorrow. You don't need to tell her till you get home. Not really. No, if it's all good, if it's all good, I can leave it till I get home, and I'll just tell her break the news when I get home because. Yeah, I'm, I feel really bad not telling her when I'm speaking yeah. to her. She's like, Where's, I spoke to her earlier. I went, it's a right thing because you're not hurt. Yeah. So it's only going to cause unnecessary stress, which yeah. she doesn't need. Oh no, she don't need that, bless her. Yeah. She's bad enough, she's um, at home on her own and that now anyway. But I, um, I went to the hotel next door to get a beer because they don't sell it in here. And that was seven seventy for a rubbish pint. I sat and talked to Ellen for about half an hour. She's like, where's the boys? I said, oh, they're in, they're in the hotel, <laughs> in, the other, in the other hotel, because I wasn't in this one. So I, I, didn't, I didn't lie. And she said, where are all the bikes then? I said, oh, they're, they're, they're going to be in the other car park. <laughs> yeah, so, but how far you got to go? Yeah, I'll be in another minute with the same again. We can't find anywhere open to get beers. 
It's a nightmare, isn't it? It's everywhere. I walked all around here. I walked into the shopping centre for something to do. Got myself a hot chocolate and a bit of food. Um, and I, then I, thought, I looked around everywhere for a beer. I went out to go in the hotel next door in the end. And then, uh, it's just, but it's just dead. There's no one around. Yeah, yeah, same here, same here. So I think what we'll do, as I said, we've only really just entered Limoges, so we haven't we actually got into the centre yet, so yeah. we might find an odd summit open. You're not, not that far from the hotel now, are you? No, 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 not that far. Good, good. Everyone OK? The boys are right? Yeah, yeah, all good. Yeah, everyone's good. Cool. I've just, yeah. I, I couldn't even be bothered to go out and eat. I'm not even hungry. I've not lost my appetite. I've got a few bits from the shops. I've had a few nibbles, but I'm not going to bother going out. I'm just going to sit and watch a bit of telly or something, and then yeah. have, have an early night, catch up on a bit. Telly. Yeah, well, I've got I've got a, I've got an app on my phone. I can watch telly. Oh, yeah, telly. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, from the fire stick. So. Yeah, yeah, so. But do that as soon as you know anything tomorrow, mate. Get straight on that blower to us. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, they're gonna. Because we're, we're waiting for you. Yep. Yeah. All right, mate. So where are you tomorrow? You're back up to Le Mans tomorrow. Yeah, so uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll get to the village in the morning. Yeah. And then we'll probably start trekking from the village towards Le Mans. Okay. All right, well, I won't find out until... I don't know how far Le yeah, Mans is from can. here, but I can have a look. It's, yeah. it's probably only about 100 miles, I'd have thought, something like that. Yeah, yeah, so then you're, you're, you're closer to Le Mans than we are. Yeah. So I'll have a look, see what he says tomorrow. And I'll update yeah, you guys yeah. as soon as I hear anything. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. So. We, look, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Oh, yes, I do. I look forward to seeing you guys again. I'll tell yeah. you, I'm lost without you. Like, it's horrible here. Yeah? Yeah, I've, I've, I've been trying to amuse myself and walk around and doing little vlogs here and there. And So you'll have plenty of footage to go through of me, of me yeah. feeling low and everything else. Yeah, speak to you soon. All right, mate. Love you guys. Yeah, Take care. Good. Stay good. safe. Good. Good. Check, text me when you get to the hotel. Uh, yeah, yeah, I will do. Bye. All right, then. bye, bye. See you, everybody. See you later, bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no.